just look at Liz's beautiful position. This is where we're going with this pose. I still hope to get there one day. That's perfection. Meredith, beautiful. somewhere where you didn't have say bolsters mm -hmm. would that work um, to the same uh, with the same purpose if you had say the arms on absolutely. the chair absolutely absolutely yes definitely but it's even better if the body can feel something okay. the body rather than the arm sure. yeah look um, a pillow will do mm -hmm. anything rolled up mat perfect now the practitioners I'm going to work on I'm going to work on Susie for a second. Could the practitioners come over here? You already know how to do this. You can work on anyone you want. Um, I want to show you the technique that we use to separate, to gently separate fascial adhesions in gracilis and the inner hamstring. Now, if you just feel her other leg, this is, and don't go all the way forward just for a second, just sit up there, that's lovely. If you, this thing, this rope that I have under my fingertips, you, you can feel the same. Can you feel that? Yep. That is gracilis. Now here's the thing, this muscle here is completely relaxed and the inner hamstring is nowhere near as tight as gracilis. Can you feel that? Yep. There's this and this muscle here, relatively relaxed. It is only where these two are stuck together and look at her face and you can see straight away. So what we do is we come up to here where in fact they're completely separate. Can you feel the... They're completely separate and run your fingers along like this, backwards and forwards and pull back. Backwards and forwards, across, 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 backwards and forwards. Exactly. Wait, wait. Ooh. 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 What's that? No, she's actually in a strong stretch position, or you were, weren't you? She couldn't go down to the ground. So, and it's much more effective when you apply these um, manual corrections in the stretch position. Now here, the fingers are going in about that far in between those two muscles, and it's effortless. But you can still feel it's that muscle, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, no, you can't do it yourself. Your body won't let you. You can try it. <laughs> and I've got, I've got very strong willpower, but I certainly couldn't do it to myself. Okay. Take a breath in. And let yourself go down. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Totally different sensation. This is it's not magic. I don't know how many times I've done this in workshops. You feel the difference? Mm. Yeah. It's a fascial adhesion and no, no one writes about this. It's definitely going to be part of the next book though. This is, in my experience, this is the most important of the adhesions to release in the body. It's not in any way dangerous. It will leave you bruised though, I can tell you. I, mm. One woman came, came into the workshop, I can't remember where it was, and she said, I had a hard time explaining this to my husband. And she, <laughs> and she, she pulled her pants up, she's wearing those lily lemon pants, pulled them right to here, and she had this line of bruising down the inside of each thigh. It's normal. And it, absolutely no problem whatsoever. Anytime you release fascia, there will be that kind of effect. Beg your pardon? Does it stay released? We've gone through the Absolutely. process. The, the, how to explain this briefly? It's a restriction to your normal range of movement. Well, actually, let me take a step back from that. Just think about this for a moment. The fact that you're in a stretch position, feeling a stretch, means, by definition, you're out of your normal range of movement. This is not part of your movement pattern. We're, in, we're look, literally looking into the abyss. But once you move in there, backwards and forwards a few times, just feel it, just go to up and down a few times, just feel the ease in the body doing it, right? And the brain is reflecting and checking this, and all the proprioceptors are remapping, remapping, remapping. When she goes to stretch this part next time, that apprehension and that pain in that particular part just simply won't be there. It does seem like magic, I know, but it's real. That's 
There are other muscles in the body that exhibit this a similar, let me just think around the body. This is the most spectacular one. And because this limits everyone's movement, I mean, everyone wants to put their chest on the floor, right? Go for it. Off you go. Exactly. But, but, the, but, the, but, the, but the point is, once you get this, once you get access to the abyss and you explore it, you'll want to go back there again and again and again. Because this is something you've been trying to do for years, right? That's how it works. And so, what, so to pick up on what Craig said, which is completely accurate, it now becomes part of your movement pattern and as a result, no sticking. Because I work with a lot of kids, one, and even my, my door son, door who is very flexible, which is very fine, when he does that, this stretch, he can't roll his, his hips forward at all. And I right. call my early years, I couldn't, and then mm -hmm. one day I could. Yep. So I never, I never figured out what happened. No, well this is the limitation. The, the, the movement of the hips forward, when your legs are apart, that's all gracilis. Yeah. Gracilis and the inner hamstring.